Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Park. Today, we're going to go through the compass calibration on the unique Q504K. And the reason is the color codes have changed and they're different than what's on the included card. And I'm going to have those codes for you coming up. And how do you know if your GPS is actually on? The switch on the controller is a little confusing. All that and more coming up next on Videos by Andy. Okay, so you're ready to fly. Before you even head out the door, you need to make sure you have enough satellites. Check out this app. This is GPS Plan. It's available for iOS, and I believe it's also available for Android, so you can download it, put it right on your phone. You want to have at least six satellites. Now, I'm still confused why they have much higher numbers on the unique Q500 and even on the DJI product. But here it's safe to know if you have six satellites, you're going to have a good steady flight. Higher is better. The other one is magnetology. As you can see today, the number's at five. That's pretty much on the high end of the scale when it's safe to fly. While I'm not an expert on magnetology, these are two good reference guides to have before you fly. So now we're out there, let's go on and start her up. As we've gone through before, first turn on your controller. You're going to wait until you hear that Android tone. You remember, this is an Android-based operating system before you start up your copter. Okay, we hear that. Now we're going to start up the copter. Now you notice I have the blades off because I'm going to plan to do a calibration. I've taken my iPhone. I've used the compass program on here. I laid it down on top and I have this pointing right at north. Here, let me just tweak it just a bit. The nose is pointing to the north. Now I'm going to step back. Let's take a look at the lights here. What we're looking for, and here's where the confusion has come through. On the card, a solid green or solid purple, depending on which mode, which flying mode you're in, means that you have a good GPS lock and it's safe to fly. However, and I'm going to read this to you. This came from Unique Tech Support, that the color codes on the Q504K do not match the included card. They still haven't updated them on their website. I know they'll be putting out new materials soon. So I'm just going to read you exactly what Unique Tech Support wrote me. The solid green with the purple flash in smart mode and the solid purple with white flash in angle mode designate good satellite connectivity and good GPS lock. If you don't see the purple and white intermittent flashes, you still have decent GPS lock. However, the follow me and the watch me mode won't work in the smart mode. So that means that if you see a solid purple or solid green based on, you know, are you in uh, smart mode or in um, angle mode, you're good to fly. But if you have a solid green for about three seconds with a flash of purple, then back to solid green, or you get that purple and white, as long as you get the steady, you have a better lock and you can use the mode. So let's see how we ended up here. Okay, right here, I have the, exactly what they were talking about. I'm gonna move this up here so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's hope this focuses in well on this. But you see this lighting pattern? This means I'm good to fly. Now, if you look at the color chart, this lighting pattern is not even on there. So just in case you don't know how to calibrate your compass, let's go in and do that now. Okay. As stated, let me go in and I'm going to lay my iPhone down here and I'm going to get us pointed exactly to the north. Now you can go into your settings menu, but to me, it's a lot quicker to do it this way. Basically, and let me put this down so that doesn't fly away. What you do, you put your controller on the right here. You switch it from turtle mode to rabbit mode. Now remember, you have 30 seconds to complete this operation once you initiate it. You hold your left stick all the way to the left, and then you toggle until you hear a series of beeps, meaning that you're in calibration mode. Okay, and I hear those. Now what you do, you hold this away from you, and I call it heels overhead. You turn it away from you, hold it steady, turn it 45 degrees, turn it away from you, Another 45 degrees, 
hold it away from you. And now here I need to change hand positions for this one. Another 45 degrees, turn it away from you, and then you set it down on a flat level surface. You let it settle in, and it's gonna take a few moments here. I got the confirmation beep. That other beep was my phone that was sitting here. Now you hear that beep too. I think we're good. I'm getting, I don't wanna move it. In a moment, I'll show it to you on camera. And we're good right now. Now, right now, it's showing me a solid green and I am getting that purple flash. Okay, I am in smart mode. Let's change it to angle mode. And let me bring it over here so you can see this. Okay. See this here? It said solid purple. Then you get that flash, solid purple. Flash, solid purple. Now, evidently, from what I've been told from Unique Tech Support, and thank you, Unique, you responded same day on this one. It just amazes me what a good job they're doing. Now, the other thing you need to do is when you go into the app, and you dig down into the settings, when you see GPS, it's confusing because the switch, if it's on, will say on. Now, you mean, do you press that to turn it on? And then when it's off, do you press that to turn it off? If it says on, it is on. If you press it and it goes to off, it is off. I hope that clears up any confusion. I know, maybe, maybe I'm a ninny here, but it confused me and it was always good to ask a question. Now you have the answer that came straight from Unique on this. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're just going to look at the camera quality. This is a replacement unit for me. I was having a little gimbal shake issues. Unique replaced it, so what I'm gonna do right now, we're gonna put on the blades and we're gonna fly and we're gonna look at different modes. Here goes. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of talk here because we're gonna do this in fast motion. Notice, I just, I've gotten to the point where I hand tighten them, but I hold the, the hub here, the motor, while I'm spinning it, and it seems to give me a tight lock. I have not had any problems doing it this way yet. I think when they upgraded the software, they got rid of that, that uh, prop falling off or flying off problem. I think they just slow the motors down uh, a little bit softer when you, when you bring it to a stop. Okay, now we're gonna go the bees. Let me get underneath here. That way I can spin it around without slicing. Remember, these blades are sharp. Okay. Let's go into fast motion. Okay, we're going to head out here. Let's do some flying. Okay, we're ready to fly. I'm shooting at 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. Had the image style in the natural. I believe this thing comes defaulted out of the box. In the gorgeous mode, personally, I thought the natural looks better. We are in angle mode. I'm going to start off in turtle. We're going to start the motors. Three, two, one, now. Okay, we're starting. 18 satellites on the left, and we got 13 up front. And as I said, I have about six to seven. It's going to go up to eight satellites shortly, so here we go. Okay. Now what we'll do, once we have her up, let's get her steady for a moment. Let me bring her in so that you can see the lighting pattern here. And I'll pull her down just a bit. Okay, now as you can see, and I hope you can see it with a bright background, we have that steady purple with that quick flash, steady purple. I'm in angle mode. That means we're good to go. All modes will work. Oh, might help. Let's turn on the camera. Okay, we're going to do two shots here. We have 11.5 volts. Okay. In turtle mode. Let me a little bit closer here. Okay. In turtle mode, we're going to do an up and away. Three. Two, one. Okay. This is left stick all the way up, right stick all the way down. We're in turtle mode. Let's see how smooth this thing goes under movement. Okay, and I'll let her stay there. Altitude, 79 feet. We're going to do an up and away, this time in rabbit mode. 
in angle. Three, two, one, go. And you can see it has a lot more torque. Now, we'll tell you on this replacement model that I received, this thing seems to be faster in rabbit mode. I don't know. I don't know if it's me or it. Okay, I'll bring her to a hover here. Altitude is 145 feet. The distance from me is 280 feet. I know you can't see me, but I'll sit here and wave. Okay, we're just hovering. And let's go in and bring her back in in angle mode. Maybe it's me, but as stated, this is a replacement Q500 4K. I'm noticing that when this one's in rabbit mode, it seems to be much more agile than the first one that I bought. Okay. Now, is it an Inspire 1? No. Is it a Phantom? This is pretty agile right now. Now, and we'll be looking at the video here to see how that, that performs on that. Now, in landing, and let me sh show you something, because this is absolutely normal. I'm going to go and throw it in rabbit mode. Excuse me. I'm going to go in and throw it in turtle mode. And watch what happens when I land. You're, I'm just going to bring her down slow, and I'll, you're going to notice a little bounce. For some reason, this is normal, and it's a characteristic of unique copters. Okay, let's shut her down. Okay, that's it for now. If you'd like to get more information on the videos that I produce on the unique Q504 K model, go to videosbyandy.com. Go to my Facebook page at facebook.com slash videosbyandy or a number of the unique forums on Facebook. I try to post my work there to share with the others. Questions, comments, and opinions are more than welcome. Leave them right down here below. For videosbyandy.com, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Parr, and I'll see you online and in the air. Ah, one last thing. Don't forget to press the button to turn off the recorder before powering down the copter. This way, the file that's currently being recorded will process properly. That's it for now. See you soon. Okay, I think that's a good one.